गुड इवनिंग टू एवरी वन दिस इज वीरेंद्र सिंह एंड वेलकम टू अवर मास्टर कैम मिल्टन ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज वेर वी आर ट्राइंग टू शो यू वेर वी आर ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लोर अवर नॉलेज ऑन मिल्टन डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ मशीन डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एक्सरसाइज एंड डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ टूल पाथ इफ यू आर फ्राम इंडिया इट्स सेवन ओ क्लॉक फॉर यू एंड दिस इज एक्सरसाइज नंबर फिफ्थ एंड पार्ट थ्री इन पार्ट वन we are show you that how we can show uh, we show you about the simulation of that one component with the help of different tool part different strategies and all about it in exercise 2 we show you that how we can make a really unique and amazing tool part that is known as a pinch turn as well as we also show you that what are the very important factors that you have to keep in mind when we are learning the pinch turn operation and in this exercise we show you that how we can create a tool part uh for the remaining areas like as these kind of area these kind of area and also we will trying to show you uh to create a tool path in the right hand spindle also so if you have any question if you have any doubt you can go and comment us on our comment section we trying to explain you we trying to show you your uh, we trying to give your answer on our comment section so i would like to suggest each and every single person who is who are Uh, who have a really good ambitions to grow in your career start to learning the milton it's help you a lot to getting a very good salary package if you are in india if you are in usa if you are a uk and in which country you are doesn't matter i would want i want to also know about each of my viewers who are from there are from different countries around the world so i would like to request all of you please comment us on our comment section in which country you are and what you want to learn that's really need us and motivate us that where uh, from which number of locations i am going to connect it today so now let we have to start to work uh, study about that one exercise and that different number of operations to complete that component so after completing of my upper lower and all the turning the next operations i would like to show you that is the finishing the finishing operation i would like to make uh, including this so i just on the semi finish so it automatically finished in the pinch turn or that operations and after that i would like to create a tool path with the help of lower turret for that one area so i have to make a tool path that is known as a contour rough or dynamic mill we i can make any one tool path so for here i make a tool path that is known as a dynamic mill the tool which i am going to select this is r5 button tool click on here just say okay dynamic rough what is the depth of cut value you have to define the depth of value on this condition so i make it 1 1 mm the tool path i want to make a zigzag and just say okay and now have a look that's a really amazing tool path with a unique style and unique idea and it's take automatically all these things they have all these things now after completing of this one area i would like to make another one tool path for the upper side for this one area that i want to make this tool path with the help of dynamic rough this tool path i make that with the dynamic rough and i have to again define the tool i want to make the tool size which is the same for that one also and i have to add a reference position for that and in dynamic rep i want to make a depth of cut which is 0.5 mm for example and in lead in lead out i have to say automatically lead in lead out 2 mm automatically lead in lead out 2 mm and just say okay now have a look that's the beauty of these tool paths really good really amazing so now i make both of these tool path and after completing of both of these tool path the next tool path i want to make we have to finish both of these things so i want to make a finishing tool path for that one component so for make a finishing tool path on that one component we can start this tool path from here one and here two the tool path which we want to make or uh, the tool which we want to choose the same like this define the reference position the finishing thing lead in lead out automatically lead in lead out automatically and just say okay 
now have a look we have to work out when we are get this alarm 5 mm i can be 5 okay according to that tool path starting with accident so in a lead in lead out i would like to make this lead in with the help of that now have a look my tool path is be created but that's not going to be in, in engaging the internal area so i want to make over this one so now have a look that completed that's completed and that's all about when we are talking about the finishing thing so as you can see here my all tool path are successfully done for the left hand spindle side and after that i have to make tool path for the right hand spindle so for creating a right hand spindle i have to make part handling from the left side to the right side or for that one purpose i would like to make this tool path this is known as a pick off so i have to say just pick off and once i select the pick off operation i have to say just okay so as you can see see here once i just say okay so after okay as you can see the different number of operations different number of tool path are created here first the turret part with the upper turret part with the lower clamping synchronization spindle move clamping and again move and synchronization but after completing of all these tool paths there is no turret part is included this so we need to add on this tool path and before we have to create the tool path that one tool path we have to make before we have to creating the right hand spindle tool path we have to make a turret reference upper as well as the lower both the turret in a center point in a middle turn i would like to told you we can we have a three positions of turret park we can park turret on left hand side we can turret park on the right hand side and we can turret park on the center and that is known as reference position and why i need to turret park because when this tool path part handling will be done so that time right hand spindle came here hold my workpiece during the holding time my both turret came are park on the left hand side after that if i want to make the tool path for this one area so that time what i need i need a one important thing and what is it that time my turret have to automatically came on reference position and after the reference position it can uh, rotate the tool it can all the uh, rotating the tool and it can easily done so that help us a lot if so the, for that one purpose i make a turret park for the upper upper turret park reference position and just say okay again turret park i want to make a lower turret park and reference position and just say okay so both our turret are now getting to be reference just say okay and press on g1 so as you can see here now i have to make the tool path synchronization for the tool path synchronization the last one tool path synchronization that i was do the face up the facing the pinch turn after the pinch turn I would like to make the tool path that is a contour. Once this is contour, that will start for after this tool path. After this tool path, I want to make the tool path dynamograph. After dynamograph, it will start to do finishing. And after the finishing, I want to make the tool path the turret park. And after this turret park, it can start to turret park on the left right hand side. once this is start to work i can make this turret part also can take in action and just say okay and just launch now i would like to say and i would like to show you the all the tool path which i created on the left hand side now have a look the face the pinch turn
and now have a look the turret is going on a park on this reference position and now we can create a toolpath for the right hand spindle for the creating of the right hand spindle we need to create only two toolpaths and these two toolpaths are known as the face as well as the rough so for creating a face i have to click on a face we need to for this kind of spindle we need to select this kind of this direction tool because that can't be rotating in x direction as the turret we have in a, uh, the previous video so we have to choose this tool take it is as a reference position face and okay we have to say this die side and just say okay so that facing is successfully done once my facing operation done i can make the next tool part that is finishing in a finishing i can choose any kind of tool i can choose this tool with the help of this side but i can't choose this tool because the tool angle is not will never going to be on because that's not a milling head machine that's a different kind of machine so i have to choose that one tool once i choose that one tool i have to make define the reference position that's a rough parameter use to for outer boundary and just say okay now have a look as you can see now all the operations are successfully created i hope you guys get understanding about that how we can create different number of operations different kind of tool path at the same time so thank you so much for watching this one video see you in the next video with a new exercise and with a new machine so keep learning keep growing